Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are talking right now with Al McMorty from BigAl.com, previewing a couple of games from NFL Week 14. And uh, Al McMorty has a great record uh, in our videos for free, but much, much more than that, of course, going back long term in the NFL and going back long term in many sports. And he tells me that uh, he's kicking it right now at his site as well, as well as he's ever done. Al McMorty, thanks for being back with us. Thanks, Peter. It's good to be here. All right, Carolina, New Orleans. This is an interesting game that you chose. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I have a thought on this, and we'll see if you agree with it. Before we get to it, just give everyone a rundown of uh, how you've done historically and how well you're doing right now, because it seems like uh, right now you're doing as well as ever. Yeah, right now, we, you know, we we're actually on fire right now in the NFL, 12-5, and 5, which is really nothing new for us. Two years ago, ranked number one in the country in the NFL at the Sports Monitor. We cast 76.7% of our top-rated plays that year. Last season in the NFL, 83 and 57. Having another winning NFL year this year, including 12 and 5 the last 17 over the last couple of weeks. We just had our huge play on the New York Jets cash Monday night against the Miami Dolphins. Off to a terrific start also in basketball. Five and one with a push in college basketball thus far. We are 12-4 and four in our top-rated NBA plays. Last year, finishing number four in the country in the NBA at the Sports Monitor. We're on fire in hockey, 15-6 and six with a push our last 22, ranked number one last year in hockey at the Sports Monitor. So things are going great. We've got no complaints. And if folks want to check out our website, if they've never been there before, they can go to BigAl.com and click on Free Picks and get three free winners every day online. Two for myself, one from Larry Ness. Nothing to buy. No strings attached. Just go online to BigAl.com and click on Free Picks. And then if you want to migrate over to the Picks for Sale page where you can get all of our best selections, most of them priced around $25, they can go to Picks for Sale there. Or they can join for a week or a month or six months or a year. Just click on Subscriptions and get all the details. All right, that sounds great. BigAl.com. And Al McMurdy currently in a major groove in multiple sports. All right, Al. Carolina. And New Orleans, the second game you chose right now, New Orleans, nine and a half or 10 point uh, home favorite. And I'll tell you, you know, the NFL a lot of times is just sort of about uh, figuring out the ebbs and flows and riding the waves of the season. And last week, you know, the Saints were off of three straight home losses, unheard of for the Saints, right? And they go on the road against Pittsburgh off a of bye. So, you know, the, the, the sort of like uh, automatic thought there is, to, is, is that Pittsburgh is a great bet. And when I saw that, I was like, no, this is a spot, you know, expect the unexpected in the NFL. New Orleans sets up for to be at least a good bet on the spread, if not, to, uh, if not to win outright. And now here they're back home as a big favorite against Carolina. And Carolina, you know, they, they lost their first game off the bye, but they did have two, you know, block punts for touchdowns, which sort of skews the score. And based on basically the same mode of thinking that made me think that the Saints would be a good play last week, I'm thinking Carolina plus 10 has to be a good play here. You know, the Saints come back home off of a win. People are thinking maybe they're back now. They come back home, big favorite. I think Carolina's a player plus 10. Do you agree? I do agree. You know, you okay. know it's interesting because the you know, New Orleans Saints, as you just mentioned, were kind of a contrarian play last week after losing those three straight home games. And it's kind of interesting because I'm king of contrarian thinking in the NFL. I go against the brand all the time. And I didn't even want the New Orleans Saints last week. <laughs> I didn't take Pittsburgh either, but, you know, a lot of people I respected were on the New Orleans Saints, and I said, you can have them. I said, I don't want any part of the Saints. Yeah, I mean, you know, the like, only reason, like, let me tell you, the only reason I like the Saints there, I, I did zero analysis. I had no statistics to back it up. I had nothing. All I had was, oh, my God, three straight home losses. Now they go on the road to Pittsburgh. They're going to cover. That's it. That's it. Yeah, well, you, you know, the, the New Orleans Saints, I mean, they were really – right there with the Seattle Seahawks, in my opinion, for having the best home field advantage in football. I mean, going into that three-game losing streak at home, you know, and that was a three-game homestand, you know, which is kind of rare. They were 20, I think it was 24 and four straight up their previous 28 at home, and then they lose three in a row. Now, admittedly, there were some good teams there, San Francisco, Cincinnati, and Baltimore, but come on, you got to win at least one of those three games. Right. And then they did bounce back, you know, last week against Pittsburgh. But the problem when I look at this New Orleans Saints team is the defense. Yeah, they can score with anyone, but they're giving up 26 and a half points a game. And now you're asking a team that has a sieve defense to lay double digits, no thank you. And when you go back 35 years in the NFL and you look at how teams do when laying nine or more points, if they give up more than 24 a game, these teams are a dreadful 45 and 77 ATS Throw in the fact that New Orleans at home versus division rivals, a very soft 27 and 47 against the spread. 
I'm going to take Carolina plus a double digits. I just don't trust New Orleans. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And does the fact that uh, Carolina had two fluky touchdowns last week factor in at all, or, or is or is that not even coming into play? No, that doesn't come into play at all for me. This is just a play against a team with a bad defense laying a lot of points. I mean, the, the back door is always going to be open here. Just no reason to lay this kind of number to any team with the New Orleans. All right, that, that jibes with uh, my NFL irony style uh, handicapping. Uh, it seems like it sets up for a cover, at least, by Carolina at plus 10. All right, Al McMorty from BigAl.com. Thanks so much. Talk to you again very soon. Thanks, Peter. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.